Hey guys, so Elaine and I are making lunch and today we're making pancakes for lunch. In fairness, Elaine is kind of making lunch. But I'm helping and I'm giving moral support and all that sort of stuff. So is Frank. That's what our morning is off to so far. And then we've got a load of stuff that we want to do in the garden today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that too. I'll basically go through what it is we're planning on doing today. This is our garden and yeah, the grass is getting real long again, but we're gonna ignore that today. So we've got our fencing up the side here and we haven't done anything with our fencing since it went in. So you can see that the wood is really bleached and kind of all the color that was on the fences when we got them put in is completely gone. So we need to treat the fences. Um, so we have a wood stain for that and we got a pump and precision sprayer. So Elaine is going to probably do most of that this afternoon. And um, we have to try and see if we have masking tape just to mask up the fence posts at the side. And probably gonna look and see, can we do the shed as well with that? And then while all that's happening, Frank's barking at me. That's kind of our big plan for the garden today. And it looks like the weather's gonna be good. Um, it's quite warm here and hopefully it's gonna stay dry. So that's really all we needed to do so that we can do this. So we're back in our old horrible painty clothes that we wore a lot when we moved into the house. And we've already started to work on the fences. So this is what we've done so far. Um, I say we, Elaine has done all of this and we've done some of this panel as well. And what we're finding is that when you use it on the widest spray setting, it seems to work really well. But when you use it on the precise setting. It is not precise. Yeah. Anything but. Yeah, the word precise seems to be a bit of an overreach there. So what we've had to do is we're using the brush to actually tidy up the edges much more and that seems to be working. done as much as we can in the garden this evening and the reason for that is because we don't actually have enough paint to do all of the fence panels however this is how things look so far as you can see this side is done and this side needs to be done hello hello do I have paint on over my I don't actually no I do do I my hands though you kind of do yeah you're destroyed see I'm really freckly so it's hard to tell what's actually paint and what's very yeah my face that's i'm more freckly today than i have been it's not my face you've got a lot of paint on your face as well though to be fair that's what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah. yeah no elaine basically did all of the spraying and she actually it looks really really good if we go to the panels that were done first which are actually right down the end of the garden like they look really really good and they're still probably drying a little bit but they look so much better than they did and with any luck, we won't have to do this again for some time. I think the this paint is meant to last for like three years or something. So hopefully we'll get at least three years out of it. And it means we won't have to do it for ages. So dinner tonight was vegetarian burgers and chips and it was delicious. Elaine made like a really nice salad to go with it and it was just really really tasty so we're just going to take it easy now for a little bit and then take the dog for a walk and probably just chill out for the rest of the evening good morning so it is the next day and i haven't actually mentioned this at all but today is tuesday and i'm off work today because i'm actually off work for the next couple of weeks just it's been kind of intense in work recently with covid19 and everything like that and it's just been really, really busy. So I've taken a couple of weeks off, basically on my summer holidays from work, but because we can't, like we have travel restrictions and that kind of thing in place and nobody's really traveling, uh, I'm not going away this week. And Elaine isn't off, Elaine is still working, but I'm not. So anyway, now that I've gotten all that out of the way, the plan this morning is for me to go out and get the rest of the fence paint that we need, but 
it doesn't look like we'll be able to put it on today. It's quite windy and like it's so much windier than it was yesterday and the problem is it actually the sprayer that we have they recommend that you don't use it in moderate to strong wind because it'll just blow all the paint back at you. So we can't actually finish the garden makeover today, which is kind of annoying. We'll probably be able to do it later in the week and we're hoping we'll be able to do it later in the week, but we just can't do it today. So when it is finished, I will show you guys the final outcome. But, and I know I showed it to you yesterday, but this is what it looks like today. And I actually think it looks even better because the paint is kind of drier and you can see the grain of the wood through the paint now. So it looks a lot more natural than it did say yesterday. So it's really cool. But this is what the fence looks like now. So it's much redder than the original color that the fence was when we got it first, but it's as dark as the original color of the fence when it first arrived. You can see on this side that like the fences look really good. And then on this side, they just don't look as good. This is one of these jobs that we've been putting off for months. And like during lockdown would have been the ideal time to do it, but we couldn't get the fence paint or the sprayer because they were all sold out at the time. So that's why we're only doing it now. But when it's finished, the place is just gonna look great. Operation Get More Fence Paint has been a complete success. So now I'm just gonna head back home. I'm back from the shop and uh, like of course he stops as soon as I start filming him. Frank is just going bananas in the back garden. Just tearing around the house. Oh God. So it's a few days later and we have finally finished the garden. Actually, I'm recording this after my next vlog, which will be going up after this vlog. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick look at the garden in its completely finished state. So, as you guys remember, uh, all the fences on this side, they were all completely done last time I spoke to you. However, this is the other side of the garden. So we painted these all day and we've actually kind of been in the garden all day today. Elaine painted the fence here as well, or the gate rather, going out to the side passage where we keep our bins. And I have painted the shed. So the shed now matches the fences and I cut the grass. So as of right now, the garden looks really, really good, I think. We went out earlier today, we were trying to get like lights. Um, we were looking to get like solar powered lights that we could kind of attach onto the fences. So we think that'd be really cool and it means that when we'd probably end up using the garden more in later into the evenings and that kind of thing, but we couldn't find any lights that we liked. So we'll have to kind of do that again at another stage, but it's something that we really want to do. So lights will be coming soon. But yeah, garden looks amazing. We were both kind of thinking that we wouldn't really like the paint on the fences when it went on first and then we'd get used to it and then we would. But actually since we put it on, we, just, we both really love it. We both really just love how the garden looks now that the fences are all done. So we're both really happy with that. And yeah, we're just delighted. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and to show you guys the garden in its sort of the finished product even though I didn't get to finish it in the vlog, I just wanted you guys to see it before the vlog ended. So here we are. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. Thanks a lot, and I will catch you guys in the next video.